Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about implicit intent and explicit intent in Android. So let's start. So I've created this project in which I have this main activity .xml file in which I created these two button and I have connected these two button here in our main activity .kt file here and I have also created a click event. Now we will discuss first implicit intent. So Implicit intent does not call an Android component directly, but is it does an action. Uh, for example, if we call the action view intent and pass a URI to it, then it will open uh, the browser that is available on your uh, Android or any other the application that can open URL. It will um, open that. So let's. Uh, create an example of uh, implicit intent so here I will use wall intent equals intent and here I will use a uh, intent dot action so this is capital action view and then it takes the URI so I'll use URI dot pass and then it takes a uh, uh, URL so I'll go to Google Chrome and copy this Google URL google.com and now I'll uh, paste it here and then I'll start the intent so I'll use start activity and then I will pass in the intent now let's run the application um, I need an N here let's run the application and let's check this if it is opening a browser so now the application is running on this uh, emulator so if I click on this implicit intent button so now you can see that it is open this browser and open google.com now if you have different uh, browsers on your device and no one is set to default so it will show you all the browser and you can select them then that browsers now we will discuss explicit intent so I'll go back and I'll come to my code and main activity .kt file so explicit intent are used uh, when you call a specific component in Android for example when you call an activity in your application or call a service then it is called an explicit intent so an explicit intent is used in the application itself where in one activity can switch to another activity and uh, with explicit intent you can pass data as well from one activity to another activity so I'll create an intent here all intent equals intent and now I'll use uh, uh, this comma and here I will use second activity so second uh, this is his capital so second activity and then full colon full colon and class dot Java and now I'll start the activity so this become explicit and then we have explicitly called this second activity in this one we do not know which browser we are calling but we have uh, uh, given this action view to Android system and Android system will decide that which uh, application it will open and uh, will go to this URL and in this we explicitly uh, says to this uh, Android uh, system or this application that we are going from this uh, main activity to this second activity uh, kt dot kt file so if I run this right now now the application is again running so if I come here and now if I click on this uh, explicit intent so it will take us to this second activity now I'll go back 
and now if I click on this implicit intent it will take us to the browser so that's all part today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you